Hello fellow vapors and fellow YouTubers. I am back to make another video for you. This one's going to be more of a vlog style video. It's going to be basically talking about uh, what I did at the uh, Vape in the Sun um, Expo slash convention or whatever you want to call it. <coughs> I got a lot of juices to try out. I got a lot of different things. Um, the amount of shirts I received is insane. Um, overall, it was a really good convention. I'm going to actually go over right now and tell everyone what, what companies I found there that I really liked. And, yeah. So one of the companies that I have to mention because they are really good and they actually have some really good flavors and their flavors are very unique in a sense. I actually did buy a bottle from them. I do not have the bottle on my desk right now, but it's the bottle is for my girlfriend, so she likes it more a little bit more than I do. It's uh Hemlock Vapor Co. The uh I believe the owner or the manager is called named Brian Brian Garrison. But yeah, that was them. Another really good juice place that I like a lot because, you know, the guy was really cool. His juices are a lot more fruity, have uh, a little bit higher. Um, it kind of feels like they're a little bit higher in VG than they are PG. They're pretty heavy VG. So. Let's blow off some of that. This is the this is the juice that I received from him. It's the IMC Vapors Rainbow Sherb. It's literally a rainbow sherbet. It is just identical. It's delicious, and um, I really recommend that if you guys want to order juice online to try out, you can go to. Uh, I'm not sure if you can see that, but it's called IMC vaporsllc.com so imc vapor vapors with an s llc.com and if you guys want to go check that out the uh, founding president and CEO of the company is Daniel R. Urshan he's really cool so yeah, definitely if you guys want to go check out some really good juice go to their website imc vapors llc.com Phone went off. So check it. And I shall put it back down. Alright, now let's keep going. Um, 3D Vapors was there. The whole event was pretty much based around 3D Vapor, who is an online distributor of mods, RDAs, juice, everything. You can buy everything on 3dvapor.com. Pretty much. So now another one of the companies that I actually will be doing a full review for for their whole entire juice line. Uh, this company is called Moonshine. It's called Vape Easy Cloud Boss. So Moonshine is the company's name. Uh, Vape-Easy.com is their website if you guys want to go check them out. Or if you guys want to wait for my review to come out then go ahead and do that. And then the guy who I talked to that day was Michael Wise. So, I'm not sure if I pronounced your last name correctly, but uh, Michael Wise. That's Moonshine. I really like their juice. So far, the only two that I've tasted is uh, the Dawn and Nightcap, I do believe is the juice's name. It's a really good juice. I mean, I liked it a lot. But, I mean, if you like, say, more alcohol beverage flavored juice then those two are I mean the uh, the Dawn is really good uh, actually no I think it was Nightcap that was the booze one I'm not sure I don't remember anymore but again I'll do a full review on all of them I have all the every single juice that they have so the next place that I'm going to mention is um, am I going to mention this one No, I'm not. Okay, one that I will mention is 
known distro. They are pretty good. They're kind of, um, they're interesting as far as their juices go. Their juices have a definitely an interesting flavor to them, from what I remember. Uh, Kyle, Kyle Huddleston is the guy who I talked to. He's the sales rep over there. He, their juices are definitely really interesting. So if you're into the more unique flavors and, you know, uh, I do think that they have a really good lime one. No, sorry, cinnamon one. It's called Cinemess or Cinnam, Cinnam, Cinnam something. Cinemess. I think it is Cinemess. Uh, try them out. Uh, if you can, go online, try to look them up. The, they don't have a, uh, they don't have a, um, they don't have a link in the card, so you just have to, like, probably look up known distro. Okay, now, on to the next company. This company I do like a lot. Kilo. Would you believe that is how you pronounce it? The card looks really awesome. Um, Kilo. But yeah, Kilo is a, uh, really good juice manufacturer that I found when I was there. They gave me a full box of their juices, full line, to do a review on. So they're going to get their own video. Um, <clears throat> just because they've earned it with how well it tastes, they, they've earned their own video. Uh, let's see. Hmm. Alright, and let's go to the juice room. Now, the juice room has two flavors that they were out. There was only two flavors that I could see on their booth. Uh, one was a, uh, like a blueberry slushy, and then the other one was a sh strawberry shortcake type of feel. The blueberry slushy was really good. The, the strawberry shortcake, I didn't like as much, but I did really like the, the, the blueberry slushy. The juice room. Now, their website is thejuiceroom.net If you guys want to go check them out feel free to do so and again every single person that I mention if you guys have have an experience with them that you guys don't like them or or you guys like them but you guys like only specific flavors feel free to leave that in the comment maybe I haven't tried what you like so alright now I have to mention this place because this place is pretty awesome um, they've they have a, I actually bought a bottle of juice. I was not given a free sample. I actually bought a bottle of juice because I like it so goddamn much. It's uh, called Mount Baker Vapor. The big ass sticker right there, Mount Baker Vapor. Um, Kenny Spots was the guy who I talked to. He's the marketing supervisor. I talked to him, <clears throat> went through all the juices, tasted everything. Their website is mtbakervapor.com mtbakervapor.com yeah so um, the juice that I got from them it's a very good juice <laughs> uh, I got so many juices that it's like it's hectic to get everything organized <laughs> <coughs> Uh, excuse me. I didn't make a video last night because last night I was too busy getting everything done. I was so tired. I just wanted to sleep. I didn't want to really do anything. So I'm making the video today. I hope that's okay with all you guys. So this is uh, the Guar line. It's called Guar Fluids. It's from Mount Baker Vapor. They produced this line recently. It just came out. The juice that I have is Bloodbath in a 3 milligram nicotine, 30 ml bottle of Guar Fluid Bloodbath. Now, when I first saw this, I was like, oh, it's cool, it's red, you know, it's a, that's cool. Food color, yay. And, but then I thought about it and I was like, you know what, I'm just going to try it and look at that. I'm sorry, my channel is saying vapes, I can't, I can't not buy it, it tastes so good. It has a very unique flavor that I haven't seen before yet. It's 
very hard to describe and explain, but if you guys go to Mount Baker, Mount Baker Vapor's website, you guys will be able to get their full um, juice line, all the overdrip. Their whole juice line, you know, every juice that they have, the juice profiles, all that good stuff on their website. So definitely check them out. Uh, if you really want to experience what I experienced, go ahead and buy one bottle. Like go just go based on what it sounds like. It's like, oh, does that sound really good? I'm gonna buy it. And then try it out. If you don't like it, email the guys that there and they might tell you, hey, this will probably suit you better. Or they'll give you some kind of, you know, they'll tell you they won't tell you, but they'll kind of give you suggestions on what you probably should do. So for me, I have no idea what the fuck this flavor is supposed to be but it's fucking good i can't explain it i don't know why i'm gonna try hitting it again and try to like try to break it down for you guys but i doubt that's gonna work so let's just try it it's sweet not overly sweet but sweet <clears throat> it's got a little bit of a fruit it's like a cherry or a raspberry or something like that I'm not sure if Mel Baker Vapor is watching this they're probably going you're fucking way off and I'm like I know I just woke up so yeah don't expect perfection right now when I do the juice reviews the their own line like when I do each company's line like Kilo and um moonshine and one company that i have to mention before i get to the card i don't know if i even have the card is rocket bunny rocket sheep is it rocket sheep rocket, what? rocket sheep rocket sheep premium juice company this company was really cool they sent me their line of they gave me their line of juice um all in three each one of these has the descriptions on the bottles, so I can actually help you do that a lot better. I got the flavor cards and all that good stuff in here. So, look forward to a review from that. And uh, another company that I will mention right now, I do, let me see if I have their card. Actually, you know what, I'm just gonna go down the list and we'll get to them eventually. So, next company. Sorry, dragged on Mount Baker, Mount Baker Vapor a little too long. All right, this is Gallery Vape. Now, Gallery Vape has some interesting flavors that I haven't seen in a while and I really like. That being said, galleryvape.com is the website you guys can go to. You guys, that's very blurry, but you guys might be able to read it semi -like. It's www.galleryvape.com. If you guys go there and check them out, they're really good. The one I got from them is Farmer's Daughter, which is a 70, 70 PG, 30 PG mix. It's um, it's really good. I don't really, a lot of times when they say, you know, what their flavor profiles, I don't really understand them very well, but it tastes really good. But again, everyone's palate's different, so everyone's going to have a different opinion as far as juices go. So I'm going to drip some of this and tell you guys what I think and um, if I can notice anything that really stands out in the juice. <coughs> okay, it's got a really, it's a more light flavor. It's more of a, like, more like an all day type vape. It's more what it feels like. It's nice and desserty. To me, it's more a little bit more desserty than than some. <sighs> Rock the knee box to clear the palate a little bit. I have some uh, very generic juice in here. I don't know what the fuck it is, but it's just really not much flavor to this juice. So it kind of just helps clean the palate a little bit.
I heard people say drink um, different kinds of drinks to clear your palate and stuff like that. I usually just drink soda. That's kind of my whole thing. In a year from now, you're going to see other things. Instead of soda, you're going to see lots of beer. And I probably will do pure beer pairing, which I know Ruby Roo does, but I do really like beer. I'm kind of an enthusiast in beer. I just can't really buy beer legally because I lived in Taiwan, which the legal drinking age is 18. So, yes, I was a booze hound, like, hardcore legit. Like, I was, every day I would go out and buy a different beer and try it. And then I would write my own, like, little review on paper <clears throat> and give it to my friends. And be like, hey, this is what this one tastes like. So, I used to do that uh, in a year from now. Because right now I'm 20, so I'll be 21 this year in September. And once that happens, you guys will have some pairing videos. Uh, I'm not tr trying to copy Ruby Roo. I just want to throw that out there. I really like her. She's she's a really awesome girl. Her videos are awesome. Shout out to you. You're awesome. So, <clears throat> now, I also visited another shop there called Infamous Juice. Now, a lot of you guys have probably already heard of Infamous Juice. I wasn't able to get any samples or anything like that from them. I was able to try out their line. They do have one that I do really like. It is a custard, some kind of vanilla type custard. I don't remember what it's called. It is really good though. I might throw some more of their information out later when I actually go into my bag because I think I have a uh, uh, flavor chart. I think I do. I don't remember though. but. Yeah, they are infamous like infamous juice. Um, the owner is Lay Ann Dargosi. I probably butchered the shit out of her name. But if you guys want to buy juice from them, go to uh, Infamous Juice, I N F A M O U S Juice dot com, and you know look at their flavor profiles and see if anything matches what you guys like. Now. The next company that I have to mention because I actually bought a bottle from them and I really do like it. <laughs> now this flavor I know exactly what it tastes like because it kind of strikes home. I used to smoke uh, pipe tobacco and stuff like that. And Vapor ML, I think that's what their name is, Vapor ML, uh, their juice called Tactical Black is right now one of my favorite tobacco flavored juices um tobacco flavored juices to me are very very much so hit and miss a lot of companies will end up doing a tobacco flavor that tastes like tea or tastes like some other kind of thing but does not taste like tobacco at all this one literally tastes like distilled not distilled but like tobacco that has literally just been turned from the leaf into the juice and they added brown sugar to really blend everything together very well. Um, I like it, it's very smooth, it's good juice. <coughs> <coughs> Again, I just woke up. <coughs> when I just wake up, I tend to cough a lot on threes. Everything I have is a three right now. Uh, I don't usually vape zero, which a lot of people are telling me that I probably should if I'm coughing on three, but I normally don't cough on three. I normally can vape three all day, every day, cloud it, all that, no problem whatsoever. Just in the mornings, my body doesn't really like three at all, at all. Like, I will cough like a bitch. But anyways, Tactical Black from Vapor ML. Really good juice if you're looking for something that's very tobacco-y. Well, being a good tobacco, like a higher quality tobacco, if that makes any fucking sense. Okay, on to the next company. The next company is gonna be Sacred, uh, Sacred Enlightened E-Liquid. That's what their thing says. Sacred Enlightened E-Liquid. Um, the girl I talked to at the expo was named Alessandra. She was pretty cool she kind of explained all the juices I didn't buy anything from her but I did sample pretty much everything she has she has one that also is a tobacco flavor that's really good it's more like a caramel type of tobacco flavor so it's a little bit more sweet than the tactical black but 
It's very good. Now, you're for them, you're going to have to go and find them online. I don't know what the fuck their website is. I think Sacred E-Liquid is their website. SacredEliquid.com um, Now, another one that I have to mention. Just because I have to mention. Now, I did not go and try all these juices. I just grabbed their card because I've had their juices in the past. Um, Professor Plume's Vape Potion. Now, he likes to do a lot more... They're out of Las Vegas, Nevada. They they do a lot more uh, odd flavors. I think they have a cereal flavor as well. I'm not exactly sure. But we're going to keep moving on because I don't want to, you know, spend too much time on one person that I don't really get anything from or didn't buy anything from. I just want to mention them just to let you guys know that they're a juice company out there that you guys might enjoy. So, now another one is called East Coast Liquids. It's uh, Nefos. They're a distributor for Nefos. Um, they have one that's like a lemonade, like a strawberry lemonade. That's really good. I don't remember what it's called. Sorry, I'm not that organized. But East Coast Liquids, if you guys want to go to their website, go to eastcoastliquids.com and check them out. And, of course, on to the next one. Planet Vapor, random cat. Planet Vapor. So, <laughs> ah. Planet Vapor, I don't really remember too much of them at the expo. Sorry. But Planet Vapor, I do believe, was in the same booth as whatever that last one I just did. I think it was East Coast Vapor. So, yeah, they're in the same, they were on the same booth as Planet Vapor, which didn't make any sense. Anyways, now... Mount Baker Vapor, this is just their car. This is for James Thompson, the owner of Mount Baker Vapor. I will be sending this video in a link to him, letting him know that I kind of did a small review. But yeah, if you guys like Mount Baker Vapor, go check them out. They're very good. Their guar line is definitely worth looking at and trying out. Now, the other one I looked at was Blue Falcon E-Juice. They're a really good juice company. Their juices are really high end. I didn't go and, I didn't go through and try them all, but I did try a couple, so they are good. They do have very unique flavor profiles, and each of their juices are pretty different from each other. So they're definitely someone you can go and check out. They're called Blue Falcon E Juice. You can probably look them up online at. They don't have a website on their card. Now, time for the company that I actually like a lot. And this is the company that I actually spent the most time at. This is the booth. It's called Lazarus Vintage. LazarusVintage.com is their website if you want to go try them out. They have some really amazing alcohol flavors. And they also have some really amazing, like, uh, fruit. They have some really amazing, they have a champagne that's really good. They have a cocktail that's really good. They have a bourbon that's really good. They have a Hennessy XO that's really good. And they also have a cigar pack, which I will be reviewing once I review their juices. Because I have every juice that they have. And I will be doing a review one by one on all their juices in its own video. I will be doing that for them. This is Lazarus Vintage. They are a really good company. I recommend you check them out. Another company that I went to is American Vapor Society. Uh, the guy I talked to was uh, Neil, Neil Hasso or Neil Jasso or can't pronounce your last name. Sorry. Again, just woke up. So their flavors are really unique. They're f they only have three flavors, and they're pretty unique. I will mention them because they're all actually all on the back of the card, which is awesome. So, boom, your favorite childhood popsicle infused with creamy decadent yogurt is really good. You hit it and you just you feel like more popsicle on the inhale and then it kind of like aftertaste of the yogurt kind of stays uh, a unique combination dandy their next one is a unique combination of swirly twirly lollipop mix with assorted fruits and a kai interesting I don't think I tried that one when I was there but it does sound really good sugarfoot your grandma's favorite flaky biscuit topped with her homemade sweet apple butter that I did try that is really good if you want a really good desserty feel sugarfoot is a good juice from them um, they are a 70% VG, 30% PG company. Uh, most of their, most of their juices are going to be 70, 30 BG, PG. 
Uh, they come in 0, 3, 6, and 12 milligram nicotines. They have 30 mils, 60 mils, and 120 mils available on their website. So their website name, which does not say here, is probably AmericanVaporSociety.com. I don't see it on here. Uh, yeah, you can go and Google them, uh, American Vapor Society. They are pretty good. And now for H Ohm. Now H Ohm Tech, H Ohm Tech is a really nice company out of Seattle, Seattle and California. They have a company. They have a base in Seattle, and they also have a base in uh, California, I do believe, Los Angeles and Seattle. Um, the guy I talked to was Benjamin. Now he, I do believe, is the co-founder and the CEO of the company. He is a really awesome guy to talk to. He's really cool. His batteries. The H Ohm Tech batteries are really good batteries. Now, I don't have any to give you guys a review on, but they are good batteries. I know this because I have used one in the past in a hybrid mech mod, and it was amazing. Now, if you're going for a mech mod battery, these guys, unregulated, these guys win as far as batteries. I have had a lot of different batteries, and I've tried a lot of different batteries. LGs are still my favorite. The brown LGs, 18650s, are still my favorite batteries, but these guys definitely come really close to beating that. Um, H Ohm Tech, H O H M T E C H dot com is their website. So you guys can go and check them out. They're really cool. Again, look them up, <clears throat> see if they have what you need. And this, my friend, is a. I will mention them. Suicide Bunny ha was giving away. Their whole line of juice. Now, this is for everyone who signed up for their uh, their uh, online newsletter, that kind of thing, which I decided that I would do. I'm actually wearing a Suicide Bunny shirt, just as coincidence. It has nothing to do with how much I like them. Okay, now I'm going to do a very quick review on this because I want to go through this. I won't take very long, but now first we'll start with the, the Cloud Company, which is their Max VG high, high performance amazing flavor liquids now in this pack there is only one or two flavors that I actually enjoy let's see if I can pull them out without failing I have to smell them because I don't know what the fuck they're called okay this one is actually one of them this is a straw like a semi strawberry type and then the other one I like is this one which is the sky now sky is a very creamy very creamy like cereal like it is dead on a good bowl of cereal I actually do like this one quite a bit all of them are in a three and I will do a cloud for you guys because they said it's the cloud company which means it's max VG hey, yeah. a lot of people say you're pretty you're kind you can really flavor you know I've done so many things in my future in my past I don't really care but again I do appreciate all the tips now I'm going to be going with Sky first and try it out. Well, not try it out. I've tried it already. I vaped on it last night when I was um, going through all the juices that I have. Now, I couldn't take a very long hit because of the three. Again, I apologize. But flavor is good. I will say on this bottle, the flavor is good. Sky is a good flavor. It's like... A, it's like it's like you had a bowl of cereal and then someone decided that, hey, let's give them a, like a, like a pastry to go with it. You know what I mean? Let's just eat a pastry. And I have a cat right there. You guys haven't noticed already. There's a cat there. This is my cat. Let's see which one is it. This is my sir. This is my cat, my sir. I have a, I have three cats in my room. Yes, I'm the crazy cat dude. This is Schmeagle, who is seriously the most rowdy of all of them. But this is Schmeagel, and then I have a really big, fat one. My girlfriend's running around grabbing all the cats. Um, I have a really big, nice, big, fluffy cat, and his name is Jaeger. He's my first cat. I love him so much. Anyways, that was that was random. Those are my three cats. Now, back to the juice. There definitely is a lot of VG. Uh, I can definitely feel it. <coughs> <coughs> but there definitely is 
Their nicotine feels like it's a PG va- PG base, which means it's gonna be a lot more throaty. But yeah, it's definitely like eating a bowl of cereal and then having a pastry while you're eating the cereal, like dipping this, dipping the pastry in the cereal and eating it. It's so good. It's so good. So that's that one. And then the other one that I'm gonna try on cam is gonna be a rise from the cloud company. I'm just gonna do two bottles per box. Do this quickly, let's not try to waste any time. While I'm dripping and while I'm talking about this, I actually got to meet Grim Green at the convention today. Now, I've been wanting to make meet Grim, Grim Green for a very long time and I mildly fangirled over him while I was there. Um, he's really awesome. Uh, I got some decent words of motivation from him, which were really cool. Uh, he basically told me to keep doing what I'm doing and, you know, work hard and, you know, stay at it, which is equivalently what he said. So that really helped a lot and that really gave me, you know, a nice warm, fuzzy feeling inside and I really like that. So thank you and shout out to Grim Green. Appreciate it, man. And I will definitely try my best to keep making good videos. And on to the next flavor. All right, this flavor is Arise from the Cloud Company, which is also a line from Suicide Bunny. This is their line, the Cloud Company, Max VG, blah, 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 blah. This is the Arise. <laughs> like a strawberry custard. First thing that came to mind, strawberry custard. <laughs> if I'm butchering these, by all means, let me know in the comments. Just let me know that I'm I am way off and I need to um, like down a gallon of water because my taste buds are fucking fucked. I don't know. I don't know, but I just taste strawberry custard on that one. Don't expect me to do O's and stuff like that because I can't. Doesn't mean I don't try, but okay, those are the two that my favorites of that line. Now I shall move on to the next line. This is the Suicide Bunny line. This is their original line. I believe it's their original line. I don't know. I don't really know much about Suicide Money. All I know is that I saw them there and I was like, hey, how you go? Hi, you know, let's go. Let's go talk to them. This one's called Derailed. I'm going to smell this because I don't remember what it is. Yep, this is the one. Very custardy. If you guys have noticed, I like custards a lot. I should probably do a taste test, like a, a vape taste test, like with just coils, no cotton. That way it doesn't like ruin the flavor of every other one. Oh, that's good. It's like a cinnamon custard. Like a cinnamon vanilla custard. It's like eating cinnamon vanilla pie. I don't think that exists. It's like a cinnamon creamy vanilla custard. It's actually comparable to like apple pie. In a sense. I'm horrible at this right now. I'm sorry, guys. I just woke up. All right, next one that I am going to try. Let me see if I can find it. Is the OB by Suicide Bunny? They have like these cool like designs on each bottle. A different girl doing something different, which I found to be kind of cool. No hot girls at the booth though. Disappointing. Expecting you know some hot Suicide Bunny girls. Same. Maybe collab with the Suicide Girls. Same. Same. This one's interesting. I don't remember this flavor at all. It is sweet. A lot of people do like a lick test. I don't recommend it. I, I seriously do not recommend doing a lick test. I, I don't know why people do that. 
You're like, oh, well, you get the maximum flavor that way. You just get flavor. You don't have to deal with the cloud. You just do with the flavor. I'm like, I'd rather do the cloud. That's the whole point. Hey, I just did a bigger cloud with the regular blend. Well, it's morning. <clears throat> yeah, I can't put my finger on this. I'm sorry. Um, they are good, though. I mean, all their juices are semi unique from each other. Semi. -ly. Some of them do reoccur. Time for the King's Crown. I know I was supposed to do two, but I'm just doing one. The King's Crown is going to be the next one, which is supposed to be like their, their oh so super high end one. I think I actually have a bottle. Here we go. So it's called Fight Your Little Fight Your Fate. Oh, this one smells good. But yeah, if I'm silent, it's usually because I'm dripping or I'm doing something. I apologize for the silence. I know there's a lot of people out there who just, when you see them, when you see them hit it, they just hit it. They don't, you don't see them drip. You don't see them do anything. They cut, they edit. I'm not doing that because I'm lazy. All right. Cheers. Oh, that's good. It's more like a dessert. Got like I think some banana in there. Maybe I don't know. Good juice overall. I'm not gonna spend too much time reviewing them. Now time to go so over some of the other crap that I did there. I uh, went to a lot of booths. I talked to Hexone booth, which they actually opened a store near me, which is called. Cri uh, it was not open recently. It was like open two years ago. I did not know this until now. I feel really special. But there's actually a shop um, in Mesa, I do believe. I think it's Mesa. It's called um, <clears throat> Craving Vapor, I do believe it's called. Uh, they're a pretty good shop. I haven't showed up there yet. Apparently, they said it's a huge lounge and then like a little vape shop thing. So, like a bar that's like a vape shop? I don't know. I, I don't really know. But. I was told that it's really good, so I think I might go and try them out and, you know, check them out, stuff like that. I got a couple shirts from them. Um, <clears throat> I was going to get a bag. I forgot. So many things were going through my mind at the expo. I just really didn't think too clearly. But, yeah. So, yeah. Um, that was pretty much all for the expo. That's pretty much all I did. Uh, I pretty much just went to every single booth, talked to them, trying to see what their favorite juices were, stuff like that. Now, I normally would remember all the flavors and all like that, that if I really liked it, which all the ones that I liked, I mentioned. So, if I didn't mention it, chances are I probably didn't like it nearly as much, or I just completely forgot that it existed, which is not a very good thing, I'm sorry. But, I did go to Cyclops, uh, Cyclops Vape. Cyclops Vapor, I do believe is what they're called. I got a kit, like an ego kit, like it looks like an ego kit. I got this for a friend of mine who's actually in Florida. I'm trying to get him to uh, to start vaping and just go straight into vaping. So I got him this, I got him a couple of little tester bottles of juice, you know, got him all that kind of stuff, which I'm gonna be sending to him. And um, I'm not going to do a review on this because it's, oh. Uh, I'm not going to do a review on this. Unless you guys really, like, fucking flood the comments. I want a review. <coughs> like a setup tutorial. <clears throat> I probably will not do one. Um, that being said, I did see a couple other people there. There was one, one company there called Third Eye Drip Tips. Now, I have to mention them in this video because they are good. Now, Third Eye Drip Tips is this drip tip right here. Now, I actually have this drip tip on a Kennedy gremlin cap 
because it fits for all five tens, which I find to be amazing. Love it. So basically, it's a drip tip with a very wide bore. This is a very narrow, very narrow piece of. I do believe it's Delrin. It may be Delrin. You stick that straight into where your five ten goes, eh, like so, nice and tight. And this is a great drip tip. I've never gotten a heavy hit. I've only gotten flavor. I've gotten. I've never gotten like a burny type, like hot vape. Like it never burns my lips. It's really nice. I actually have a G2 vapor uh, thing on here. G2 vapor is a good place to check out. I didn't really go through all their juices very well. I did try one of their flavors, which was I don't think it was G2, I think it was something like Drip Boy. I think it was Drip Boy. Yeah, it was called um, Bunt Cake, or Bunt Man, or Mr. Bunt, something like that. It was really good. Now, that one was a really good one. Um, my girlfriend really liked that one, it was really nice. It's like a, it's like one of the few dessert ones that she actually enjoyed. Literally tastes like you're biting into a Bunt Cake. Really good. Um, again, shout out, to, shout out to Mount Baker Vapor for you know, they're awesome juice, which I actually do really like. It's probably a personal thing. Um, but yeah. But remember, keep calm and vape on.